Ball lightning is a transient, luminous, atmospheric phenomenon involving glowing, spherical objects that typically occur during thunderstorms. Unlike ordinary lightning, which is a brief discharge process, ball lightning defies conventional physical models with its prolonged stability and persistence. This suggests complex, self-sustaining mechanisms that combine electromagnetic interactions, ionized particles, and possibly quantum-level phenomena. Despite its rare occurrences, which complicate its study, ball lightning has inspired theories spanning atmospheric physics, plasma dynamics, and quantum electrodynamics. Historically, witnesses describe ball lightning as glowing orbs that hover or move erratically near thunderstorms, varying in size from a few centimeters to meters. Occasionally, it has been observed entering buildings or vehicles with little to no damage, evoking a sense of mystery. To conceptualize, imagine a soap bubble persisting in turbulent air, defying the expected collapse under external forces, a tangible yet elusive presence. Ball lightning is thought to consist of highly ionized plasma, a state where free electrons and ions coexist in a dynamic, quasi-neutral environment. Unlike ordinary plasma, which dissipates quickly, ball lightning appears stabilized, possibly by electromagnetic fields confining its energy. The glow may result from the recombination of electrons and ions, emitting photons in the visible spectrum. Theories suggest its sustained nature arises from absorbing surrounding electromagnetic radiation or chemical energy, allowing it to persist longer than typical plasmas. Experiments have replicated plasma balls using microwave-induced gas breakdown, producing phenomena visually similar to ball lightning, though short-lived. It's akin to creating a miniature star in a laboratory, ionized gas glowing brightly, confined by internal forces. The energy-maintaining ball lightning might derive from sources such as electromagnetic radiation, chemical reactions, or residual energy from lightning strikes. For instance, lightning vaporizing silicon-rich materials can create silicon oxide plasmas that react exothermically with oxygen in the air, sustaining heat and light. Alternatively, electromagnetic fields generated by lightning might form resonant cavities, trapping energy and maintaining the plasma's glow. One model posits lightning striking sandy soil vaporizes silicon compounds, which then react chemically, sustaining the glowing orb for several seconds. This mechanism resembles striking a match on flammable material, where fire sustains itself as long as there is fuel and oxygen. Stabilization might involve electromagnetic fields, such as toroidal or spherical configurations, confining ionized particles through Lorentz forces. In some models, rotating fields create feedback loops, reinforcing the structure and ensuring stability over seconds or even minutes. This hypothesis explains how ball lightning resists typical plasma diffusion and recombination timescales. Simulations demonstrate that electromagnetic fields interacting with charged particles can stabilize plasmas in toroidal shapes, much like a spinning gyroscope, stabilizing itself against disturbances. Ball lightning may also involve chemiluminescent or plasma chemical reactions. For instance, vaporized silicon particles from lightning strikes reacting with atmospheric oxygen could generate heat and light. The high plasma temperatures might further ionize atmospheric gases like nitrogen and oxygen, enhancing brightness and longevity. Exotic compounds formed in these reactions could radiate visible light. Silicon plasma experiments have replicated glowing behaviors similar to natural ball lightning, underscoring material vaporization's role. It's like a self-sustaining fire, continuously replenishing its fuel to maintain the flame. Ball lightning's erratic motion could arise from interactions with atmospheric electric fields and Lorentz forces acting on charged plasma particles. 
its seemingly inexplicable ability to pass through solid objects may involve quantum tunneling, or induced currents, allowing it to propagate without losing energy. One reported case described ball lightning entering an airplane cabin, moving along its aisle, potentially guided by the plane's electromagnetic fields. This behavior mirrors a balloon moving unpredictably in shifting air currents, influenced by unseen forces. Speculative theories suggest quantum electrodynamic effects, or microwave radiation-induced plasmas, as key mechanisms. One idea is that trapped electromagnetic waves form a resonant cavity within the plasma, creating a stable energy configuration. Another posits that quantum vacuum interactions might stabilize the phenomenon, persisting through processes not fully explained by classical physics. Microwave cavity experiments demonstrate electromagnetic waves sustaining ionized particles, hinting at possible mechanisms behind ball lightning. Imagine a vibrating bell that sustains its sound, with energy trapped within its structure. Reproducing ball lightning in laboratories is difficult due to the complex interplay of electromagnetic, chemical, and quantum effects. While plasmoids generated by high-voltage discharges or microwave radiation resemble ball lightning visually, their dynamics and stability fall short of natural occurrences. Challenges stem from replicating the precise atmospheric conditions and energy inputs associated with thunderstorms. Microwave plasmas in controlled environments produce short-lived glowing spheres, showcasing the difficulty of fully recreating ball lightning. It's like trying to recreate a hurricane in a wind tunnel. Certain elements are mimicked, but the phenomenon's full complexity eludes replication. Centuries of anecdotal reports offer rich descriptions, but direct scientific observations remain rare. Occasionally, High-speed cameras and spectroscopy have captured ball lightning during storms, revealing valuable data. Yet, the variability in accounts and the lack of reproducibility leave some skeptical attributing sightings to optical illusions, St. Elmo's fire, or electrical afterimages. In 2014, Chinese researchers captured ball lightning spectroscopically during a storm, identifying its chemical composition. Studying ball lightning is like searching for a rare bird species based on scattered sightings. Evidence exists, but its elusive nature complicates definitive study. Ball lightning continues to challenge models of plasma physics and atmospheric science, remaining one of nature's most enigmatic phenomena. Advances in computational modeling, plasma containment, and high-resolution observation technologies promise to unlock its mysteries. Insights from this research could inform developments in controlled plasma systems, energy storage, and even fundamental physics. Understanding ball lightning might inspire breakthroughs in plasma-based energy systems, such as fusion reactors, where stable plasma containment is critical. This pursuit resembles solving an ancient riddle, with each new clue bringing humanity closer to unraveling its secrets.